David and the chiefs of the service also set apart for the service the sons of Asaph, and of Haman, and of Jeduthun, who prophesied with lyres, with harps, and with cymbals. The list of those who did the work and of their duties was of the sons of Asaph, Zachur, Joseph, Nethaniah, and Asherelah, Asherelah, sons of Asaph, under the direction of Asaph, who prophesied under the direction of the king, of Jeduthun, the sons of Jeduthun, Gedaliah, Zerai, Jeshiah, Shimei, Hashabiah, and Mattathiah, six, under the direction of their father Jeduthun, who prophesied with the lyre in thanksgiving and praise to the Lord, of Haman, the sons of Haman, Bukiah, Mataniah, Uzziel, Shebuel, and Jeremoth, Hananiah, Hanani, Eliatha, Gedaltai, and Romamtai Azer, Joshbekasha, Joshbekasha, Melothai, Hothire, Mehaz, Mehazioth, all these were the sons of Haman, the king's seer, according to the promise of God to exalt him. For God had given Haman fourteen sons and three daughters. They were all under the direction of their father in the music in the house of the Lord with cymbals, harps, and lyres for the service of the house of God. Asaph, Jeduthun, and Haman were under the order of the king. The number of them along with their brothers who were trained in singing to the Lord, all who were skillful, was 288. And they cast lots for their duties, small and great, teacher and pupil alike. The first lot fell for Asaph to Joseph, the second to Gedaliah, to him and his brothers and his sons, twelve, the third to Zachur, his sons and his brothers, Twelve, the fourth to Isri, his sons and his brothers. Twelve, the fifth to Nethaniah, his sons and his brothers. Twelve, the sixth to Bukiah, his sons and his brothers. Twelve, the seventh to Jesharelah, his sons and his brothers. Twelve, the eighth to Jeshiah, his sons and his brothers. Twelve the ninth to Mataniah, his sons and his brothers, twelve, the tenth to Shimei, his sons and his brothers, twelve, the eleventh to Azarel, his sons and his brothers, twelve, the twelfth to Hashabiah, his sons and his brothers, twelve, to the thirteenth, Shubael, his sons and his brothers, twelve, to the fourteenth, Mattathiah, his sons and his brothers, twelve. To the fifteenth, to Jeremoth, his sons and his brothers, twelve. To the sixteenth, to Hananiah, his sons and his brothers, twelve. To the seventeenth, to Joshbekash, Joshbekasha, his sons and his brothers, twelve. To the eighteenth, to Hanani, his sons and his brothers, twelve. To the nineteenth, to Malothai, his sons and his brothers, twelve. To the twentieth, to Eliatha, his sons and his brothers, twelve. To the twenty-first, to Hothir, his sons and his brothers, twelve. To the twenty-second, to Gedaltai, his sons and his brothers, twelve. To the twenty-third, to Mahazioth, his sons and his brothers, twelve. To the twenty-fourth, to Romamtai Azer, his sons and his brothers, twelve. As for the divisions of the gatekeepers, of the Korahites, Meshelamiah, 
Meshelamiah, the son of Kor, of the sons of the sons of Asaph. And Meshelamiah had sons, Zechariah the firstborn, Jediel the second, Zebediah the third, Jathniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jeho Jehohanan the sixth, Eliahoanai the seventh, and Obed-Edom had sons, the seventh, and Obed-Edom had sons, Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehozabad the second, Joah the third, Sekar the fourth, Nathanael the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Isaacar the seventh, Heulathai the eighth, for God blessed him. Also to his son Shemaiah were sons born who were rulers in their father's houses, for, their, for they were men of great ability. The sons of Shemaiah, Othnai, Raphael, Obed, and Elzabad, whose brothers were able men, Elihu and Shemachiah. All these were of the sons of Obed-Edom with their sons and brothers, able men qualified for the service, sixty-two of Obed-Edom. And Meshelamiah had sons and brothers, able men, eighteen. And Hosea of the sons of Merari had sons, Shimri the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, his father made him chief, Hilkiah the second, Tebaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth. All the sons and brothers of Hosea were thirteen. These divisions of the gatekeepers, corresponding to their chief men, had duties, just as their brothers did, ministering in the house of the Lord. And they cast lots by fathers' houses, small and great alike, for their gates. The lot for the east fell to Shelemiah. They cast lots also for his son Zechariah, a shrewd counselor, and his lot came out for the north. Obed-Edom's came out for the south, and to his sons was allotted the gatehouse. For Shupim and Hosea it came out for the west, at the gate of Shaleketh, Shaleketh on the road that goes up. Watch corresponded to watch. On the east there were six each day, on the north four each day, on the south four each day, as well as two and two at the gatehouse. And for the colonnade on the west, there were four at the road and two at the colonnade. These were the divisions of the gatekeepers among the Korahites and the sons of Merari. And of the Levites, Ahijah had charge of the treasuries of the house of God and the treasuries of the and of the Levites, Ahijah had charge of the treasuries of the house of God and the treasuries of the dedicated gifts. The sons of Laden, the sons of the Gershonites belonging to Laden, the heads of the father's houses belonging to Laden, the Gershonite, Jehiali, Jehiali, the sons of Jehiali, Zatham, and Joel his brother, were in charge of the treasuries of the house of the Lord, of the Amramites, the Isarites, the Hebronites, and the Uzziahites, and Shebuel the son of Gershom, son of Moses, was chief officer in charge of the treasuries. His brothers, from Eliezer were his son Rehabiah, and his son Jesh Jeshaiah, and his son Joram, and his son Zikri, and his son Shelemoth. This Shelemoth and his brothers were in charge of all the treasuries of the dedicated gifts that David the king and the heads of the father's houses, and the officers of the thousands and the hundreds and the commanders of the army had dedicated. From spoil won in battles they dedicated gifts for the maintenance of the house of the Lord. 
Also all that Samuel the seer, and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner the son of Ner, and Joab the son of Zariah had dedicated. All dedicated gifts were in the care of Shelomoth and his brothers. Of the Isharites, Chenaniah Chen and his sons were appointed to external duties for Israel as officers and judges. Of the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his brothers, 1,700 men of ability, had the oversight of Israel westward of the Jordan for all the work of the Lord and for the service of the king. Of the Hebronites, Jerijah was chief of the Hebronites of whatever genealogy or father's houses. In the fortieth year of David's reign, search was made, and men of great ability among them were found at Jazer in Gilead. King David appointed him and his brothers, 2,700 men of ability, heads of fathers' houses, to have the oversight of the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of the Manassites for everything pertaining to God and for the affairs of the king. This is the number of the people of Israel, the heads of fathers' houses, the commanders of thousands and hundreds, and their officers who served the king in all matters concerning the divisions that came and went, month after month throughout the year, each division numbering 24,000. Jeshobiam the son of Zab Zabdiel was in charge of the first division in the first month, in his division were 24,000. He was a descendant of Perez and was chief of all the commanders. He served for the first month. Dodai the Ahohite was in charge of the division of the second month. In his division were 24,000. The third commander for the third month was Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada the chief priest. In his division were 24,000. This is the Benaiah who was a mighty man of the thirty and in command of the thirty. Amizabad his son was in charge of his division. Asahel the brother of Joab was fourth, for the fourth month, and his son Zebediah after him. In his division were twenty-four thousand. The fifth commander, for the fifth month, was Shamuth, Shamhuth the Izrahite. In his division were twenty-four thousand. Sixth, for the sixth month, was Ira, the son of Ikish the Tekoite. In his division were twenty-four thousand. Seventh, for the seventh month, was Helez the Pelonite, of the sons of Ephraim. In his division were twenty-four thousand. Eighth, for the eighth month, was Sibakai the Hushathite of the Zerahites. In his division were twenty-four thousand. Ninth, for the ninth month, was Abiazer of Anathoth, a Benjaminite. In his division were twenty-four thousand. Tenth, for the tenth month, was Maharai of Natopha of the Zerahites. In his division were twenty-four thousand. Eleventh, for the eleventh month was Benaiah of Pirathon, of the sons of Ephraim. In his division were twenty-four thousand. Twelfth, for the twelfth month, was Heldai the Netophathite, of Othniel. In his division were twenty-four thousand. Over the tribes of Israel, for the Reubenites, Eliezer the son of Zikri was chief officer. For the Simeonites, Shephatiah the son of Mekah. For Levi, Hashabiah the son of Kemuel. For Aaron, Zadok. For Judah, Elihu, one of David's brothers. For Issachar, Omri the son of Michael. For Zebulun, Ishmael the son of Obadiah. For Naphtali, Jeremoth the son of Azrael. For the Ephraimites, Hosea the son of Azaziah. For the half-tribe of Manasseh, Joel the son of Pediah. 
for the half-tribe of Manasseh in Gilead, Ido the son of Zechariah, for Benjamin, Jesiel the son of Abner, for Dan, Azaro the son of Jeroam. These were the leaders of the tribes of Israel. David did not count those below twenty years of age, for the Lord had promised to make Israel as many as the stars of heaven. Joab the son of Zariah began to count, but did not finish. Yet wrath came upon Israel for this, and the number was not entered in the chronicles of King David. Over the king's treasuries was Azmaveth the son of Adiel, and over the treasuries in the country, in the cities, in the villages, and in the towers, was Jonathan the son of Uzziah, and over those who did the work of the field for tilling the soils, for tilling the soil was Ezri the son of Chelub, and over the vineyards was Shimei the Ramathite, and over the produce of the vineyards for the wine cellars was Zabdi the Shif Shifmite, over the olive and sycamore trees in the Shephela, Shephela was Baal Hanan, the Gedarite. And over the stores of oil was Joash. Over the herds that pastured in Sharon was Shitri, the Sharonite. Over the herds in the valleys was Shaphat, the son of Adlai. Over the camels was Obil, the Ishmaelite. And over the donkeys was Jed. Jedaiah, the Meronothite. Over the flocks was Jazes the Hagrite. All these were stewards of King David's property. Jonathan, David's uncle, was a counselor, being a man of understanding and a scribe. He and Jehiel the son of Hakmoni attended the king's sons. Ahithophel was the king's counselor and Hushai the Archite was the king's friend. Ahithophel was succeeded by Jehoiada the son of Benaiah, and Abiathar. Joab was commander of the king's army.